The promise is here. The hour has come. God is about to move in an unusual way. We have never heard of it before. That the mountain flew. That the mountain met. The highest that can happen to a mountain, the highest damage is to be blasted by a dynamite, by a bomb. They blast the mountain. But for the mountain to met and to flow, I don't know what kind of science is that. But in Isaiah 64 verses 4, they told us this morning that it did terrible things. As when the fire boiled and the fire boiled the water and caused the water to boil. He said, for since the beginning of the world, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it come even to the mind. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, in chapter 3, verses 18 and 19, something took place here. The Bible says, amen, as a part of the preparation, he said, repent ye therefore, all of you watching me now, all of you listening to me, hearing me, he said, repent ye therefore, and be converted, and be converted. He said, repent ye therefore, and be converted. Why? For what? He said, that your sins may be blunted out. Why? Should you repent and be converted that our sins may be blunted out? Is that something new? Why? He said, for when the times of refreshing shall come. Oh, I see God refreshing your life. I see God refreshing the delayed testimony of your life. I see God refreshing your spirit, your soul, and your body. There is a time that was long ago prophesied. Over 2,000 years ago, where our ancestors in Benin, every tribe, every nation has waited for this time. The Bible prophesied it. Many had died. Many had returned back to immortality. Many had have gone back to the grave, not seeing this time. Count yourself lucky. He said, Repent, therefore, turn around and be converted. He said, Let your sins be blotted out, for a time shall come. He said, Which shall be ushered, the time which shall flow from the presence of God. And they even call that time, he said, It shall be called times of refreshing. This week is the time. This week is the time. Caesar is the program of refreshing. It's a certain program you need that will overhaul your life, that will refresh your destiny, that will refresh your life. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. He said the time shall come. Let me tell you something today. If you're a prayer expert, or you have full knowledge of the spiritual realm, of what takes and goes, in the realm of the spiritual, the spiritual world is a confused place, it's a dark place. Amen. If you have you claim to have knowledge, perfect knowledge of the spiritual realm, amen. You would know that the first thing you, you see in the spiritual realm is confusion. Every entity in the spiritual realm are assumed to be zombies. Gabriel was handicapped, Gabriel was arrested by the devil, one of his boys, the prince of Persia, for 21 days was bringing good news. How many years, how many days or weeks or months have your own helper of destiny be caged? In the same thing, the Lord has spoken to me. Amen. He's about to shake this city again. He's about to shake the foundations of your life. He's about to visit everyone. Amen. Even those who ordinarily, praise the Lord, those who ordinarily hand, hold the hand be, they will be blessed. That's what Jehovah told me last two nights on this altar holding the hand bill, not even attending the, holding the hand bill alone amen not even coming close to the venue where the fire will be on the mountain oh my god finally an incident like this exactly 72 hours for the earth to hear some strange things amen an incident like this was to occur and the man of god came and he spoke the way I'm speaking to you now. Amen. And to everyone that is watching us. Amen. On the television. That God is about to change. God is about to change the story of the nation, of the land. The nation called Israel. 
He preached so much. He said, why will I wait for God again? This evil is from God. It was as bad as that in Samaria that women were eating their children. They were cooking and boiling their children as a form of meat. It was as bad as that. That was the world's worst famine on earth. We have never heard of any famine like that. This one will bring his own child, they will eat it. That one will bring his own child, they will eat it. To that extent that the king of the land, as at that time, he sent an answer saying, the messenger of death. Amen. And he said, go and fetch me the head of Elisha, the son of Shepherd. He said, may God do so to me and more so. If the head of Elisha remain on his head, that is this thing not caused by him, he's a prophet of God. When there are crises and calamities in the land and the prophets are sleeping, God caused them. The prophets of God are people who opt to open their mouth and to bring us out of captivity. When a prophet opens his mouth, they bring those in bondage out. I opened my mouth as a minister of the gospel of the New Testament and I decree in this week may the spirit of Caesar set you free. Set you free. Set you free. Set you free. Set the land free in the name of Jesus. And he said it. He said, hear me, O Israel. By this time tomorrow, exactly 24 hours, our own is 72 hours to go. His own was exactly 24 hours. He prophesied. He said, if I be a major prophet of God, I stand upon the ground of my calling. He said, by this time tomorrow, shall a robber, a dozen of rice be sold for one naira. <laughs> Amen. He said, 10 liter of kerosene be sold for one naira. <laughs> Amen. He said, one liter of vegetable oil be sold for one naira. Eh? He said, a rubber, a dozen of beans, white beans, be sold for one naira. Eh? He said, a tuba of yam for one naira. Eh? Amen. And the people looked at him and said, Has Elisha gone gaga? Has he gone kolo? Amen. And he said, Hear me. And immediately the otumba of the king. Amen. Say otumba. <laughs> the otumba of the king who stayed by his right hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. He looked at him. He said, prophet of God, you have spoken so many prophetic words before we believed you and it came through. You have done a lot of healings. That your credential is undeniable. Amen. You are a major prophet in the land. We know you. You pour water on the hand of your master and your Lord Elijah for 22 years. We believe your testimony. He said, but this one, you've gone crazy. I don't know folks like that, like that man whose mind have been poisoned by the devil already. Amen. Are there not people here who have been defeated in life? You are living, but you are like a dead person. Amen. Because your faith has gone. And no amount of message you hear. Amen. Satan will ask you, don't listen to the lies. Everyone here that Satan continues to speak to, you hear the voice of lies and the voice of defeat, the voice of shame and reproach. I cause those voices to die in the name of Jesus. I release the spirit of grace, hope, and a new beginning for you in the name of Jesus. You ask, why does God not do this one? This man of God is talking about every other day. Every other day is different from a specially ordained and organized program. You read it by yourself. When Jesus spoke by the Holy Ghost, he said, repent and let your sins be blunted out. Amen. He said, let your sins be blunted out. He said, turn around. He said, for a time is coming that was prophesied thousands of years ago. At last, the prophecy that has been hanging for over 2,000 years is about to be fulfilled in the city of Bidin. Will you be among them? Or you will be only a, a looker? Or only the one that hears a spectator? I pray may you be a participator in the name of Jesus. And suddenly, Elijah turned to him. He said, even if God opened all the windows that he has in heaven, in the so-called heaven, he said, shall this thing be? Don't doubt God. Don't test God or try God. Delay or denial does not represent weakness for God. He said in Psalm 102, verses 13, For thou will arise and have mercy upon Zion, upon this city called Bidin. He said, For the time to favor this city. Yea, the set time is come. Wednesday 19th to 23rd is the set time. I said, The set time is come. The set time is come. Oh my God, my God. Give me a believing hallelujah. 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 He said, For thou will arise and have mercy upon the Benin city for the time to favor this city the time to favor Nigeria yea the set time is called <laughs>
Praise, praise the Lord. Hello, viewers. You've heard the word of the Lord. I believe your ears have been blessed by the Lord Almighty and your eyes have seen wonders. I want to use the opportunity to inform you that coming Sunday, I want to see you here at the Miracle Embassy Cathedral of Fruitful Vine here in the Miracle International Church. God will be doing something historic. It's it's been prophesied long ago that the time will come that God will remember his people and will restore them and bring them back again from captivity and from every bondage. And this program is a crusade that is on board, that is in town. The Benicity Miracle Explosion Crusade. And the team is Zeza. You don't know what it means, but when you come, it's a place where God meets a man and turns his life around for total recovery and restoration. I want to see you by 8 a.m. We'll be having a special Zeza anointing. From time memorial, there is no one who takes that anointing and remains the same. Every area of your life is over and your life changes. I will be waiting for you. I will be waiting to respect you. We will be giving gifts to the widows, to the poor, the less privileged and the needy. And we will be doing a whole lot of things on that day. It's not just an ordinary service. It's a prophetic program that will meet you at the point of your need. I want to see you there. God bless you.